And in this next matchup, man, I mean, to me, this is a brutal fight. It's going to be a tough one to watch. Uh, Ketlin Vieira versus Panny Kianzad. Um, don't really got a lot to say about this one, to be honest with you. I'm not a big Ketlin Vieira guy. Like, I think she has some power. She throws that, you know, okay left hook and the overhand, but really bad defense on the feet. Stiff. She's plotty, no head movement, kind of like a punching bag defense. And I think Panny has way better striking. Like, her hands are a lot more fluid. She has better boxing. Her defense is more on point. It's just, if she gets clipped with a heavy shot, Vieira definitely has that power advantage. And then what I think the fight's probably going to divulge into is just a clinch battle against the cage where both girls are just hugging each other against the fence and... uh you know, it's going to be kind of a pick your poison type of who you think is going to win in the fight. I feel like Panny is a little bit more active in the clinch. But if she gets taken down and just gives her back and Vieira backpacks her for two out of three rounds and that's how she's going to lose the fight. I do feel like Kianzad's the better fighter. It's just the intangibles of Vieira being a big girl with uh, good control when she gets on top. Good clinch control against the cage. Having some power. So how is Kianzan going to deal with that? Also, Kianzan's coming in here off of a pretty significant layoff. She hasn't fought in over a year. Um, I'm going to go with Kianzan, though, just because I think she's the more skilled, talented fighter. I feel like Vieira's style has kind of been found out a little bit. And I think Kianzan, she performed well against Raquel. That fight really could have went either way. And I think that her ability to be a little bit more active in the clinch and just be a little bit better striker is going to get her the victory. So I'm going to go with Kianzad by decision in this fight here.